uh, today is shopping day. I know it's been a couple weeks since I've done shopping day. Uh, I've had, I haven't been filming too much, just besides like the grocery hauls. I know I did a recipe last week, but yeah, I uh, was having a lot of health stuff going on, so I really wasn't in the mood to film. Um, feeling better now, so I figured we would film today. Um, we're gonna go to Aldi, Walmart, maybe Dollar Tree. I need to start doing some Easter shopping and Autumn's birthday shopping. So we'll see how much of that we get done today. I know it's not gonna be a budget day just because of what I need. So yeah, um, I'm getting ready to go on Aldi. I did go to Food Lion before I came here because it was closer than here. And I got um, a package of steaks and some cookies they had on sale because their Keebler coconut chocolate chip cookies are delicious. And I'm not paying $6 for them, but they had them on sale for $3. So I got um, a pack of those and a pack for the kids. So yeah, I'm gonna go on Aldi and then I will be back. Back to my mom's house. I have to, she ordered pickup for dinner from a place, so I have to go grab that for her. And then um, I'll be going there. When I was in Walmart and I was videoing the Easter stuff, I heard one of the people that worked there, because I have my headphones on, but I can hear when I'm videoing because I can't listen to anything else if they're connected to my phone. And I hear one of the guys that worked there watching me video, and he tells the other associate, Oh, that's illegal to do. But I'm not going to say anything to her. I'll just let her be. And I'm just thinking... Excuse me? Like, just even make that comment, you're a jerk. Like, when I worked at Walmart, it wasn't like they were like, Oh, have you seen anybody filming? Like, nobody cared. And the other thing is, like, have he, has this man not seen YouTube? <laughs> there's, like, people that literally just film stores and I've seen it like there's like four different women I watch that do Walmart so I'm like whatever he's an older man and I don't know he just like I don't know if he was trying to have a power trip in Walmart because he was just stocking shelves which I mean you know jobs jobs good to have but like just don't be a jerk like I'm just filming and like to even make the comment is what made me mad because it's not like the woman was like oh what is that girl doing the other one who worked with her he just like because I could see him he just brought it up, like, to say it. And I was like, I just don't like people that try to cause problems. Like, shut up. That's another reason why I like to wear the headphones. Because, you know, one, people don't think I can hear them. And two, if I do have something on them and I'm not filming, I don't hear it. I don't hear anything anybody says about me or to me, which is nice. So, anyways, that happened today and I was very angry. Uh, after that, because I'm like, it was just, it was no reason to say it. So, yeah. Anyways, it is frigid out. It is 37 degrees out today. And it is pouring rain. 
and it was very very cold when I was trying to get all my stuff out of the car and I was like why and then tomorrow it's gonna be 67 67 degrees I I don't know where I've moved to <laughs> like I look at the weather in like New England and it's like consistent so I don't know and I mean in Florida it's just hot all the time but yeah I was very surprised I was like okay whatever <laughs> It's just going to be real. It's like, make sure you bring a sweater shirt everywhere because it might be freezing or you might be dying of heat exhaustion. I think the other day it was like 60 something degrees or 72. I was hot. Like I had dressed in the morning. It was a little cool. And I had dressed in like uh, sweatpants and a t-shirt. And I had a, like a jacket sweatshirt with me. And by the time like 12 o'clock came, I was very hot. And it's just, it's too chilly in the morning to wear shorts and stuff. And I'm like, ugh. And then today is 37. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't get that. I miss, I like consistency. And I wish we, the weather here was a little bit more consistent. Also, the rain lately is killing me. Like, I had three migraines so far last month. Yeah, because today's first. And it's just like... And it's all because of the rain and the pressure. So I'm like, it's ridiculous. We've had so much rain. And it's almost rained every time I've gone to the market in February. Tomorrow it's not going to rain. I'm so glad. Yeah, so um, I guess there was some deal like at Burger King for like a dollar Whopper. If you spent a dollar. All you had to do was spend a dollar to get like a free Whopper or something. I don't know. My mom was talking to me about it. But that's what she had gotten for dinner. Um, I don't like Whoppers. So I will not be partaking in such... Um, me and Chris have a couple gift cards we got at Christmas time. We could use one of those to get dinner stuff. Um, one's for Culver's. I don't think I've ever had Culver's, but that's what his mom sent us. Like, I know they're a big deal in Florida. I think we just got one in the area, like, I live in. So, maybe. Chris said he's had it before and it's okay, but I don't know. That, or I have frozen pizza at home we can have, or something. I got a bunch of frozen stuff in the basement that can be like heated up. Some days I just don't know what I want to eat and it's uh, annoying. <laughs> you get sick of things. And there's only so many different recipes because if I think something sounds good, Chris or the kids will be like, oh, I don't want that. And I'm like, okay. So yeah, that's all done. The shopping's all done. Tomorrow's supposed to be nice. So, should go well. Um, I got... Uh, news the other day. I signed up for a bunch of different festivals and one of them I have another um, another vendor friend I have talked to and she was telling me that she had applied for this one festival last year and didn't get in and said it seemed very difficult to get into even though they had a bunch of spots and like it seemed like if you didn't live in that area or work in that area they really weren't gonna let you in. But I applied for it anyway, and I got news yesterday that they did not accept us, but if something opens up, they'll let us know, and I was like, she was right. But um, I applied for a couple different ones, I'm still waiting to see those, and I got some other irons in the fire for the summertime, so hopefully all that will work out. Um, I'm really trying to expand this year a little bit more, like the territory we cover just trying to get things going a little bit more with our business because you know the end goal with that is like that's the only job that me and Chris have to do uh, which would be nice but it is very difficult to get it going <laughs> and especially like in the winter time because nobody really wants to go to farmers markets unless it's really nice out but tomorrow's supposed to be nice I don't think it's supposed to rain so it should be good time for that we will see I've gotten um some stuff done. I made some crosses. Um, I don't usually do crosses. I made them in the beginning when I first started, but they never really sold, um, which is surprising because the area I live in is a uh, very big Baptist area, so you would think people would buy those things. Um, you know, I know up here, I noticed living here compared to Florida, they're more like Bible Belt, like religious up here. And um, a lot of churches, like a lot, lots of different churches. Not a lot of Catholic churches. Um, we had more of them, I think, in Florida, but a lot of churches. So, 
Um, I did some crosses because my mom's like, crosses are nice. People like them for Easter and stuff. And I was like, yeah. So I made some of those this week when they're done. And if editing kitty remembers, they'll be in the corner. Um, I'll take a picture of them. So that is what I'm going this week. And then I'm going to start some honeycombs. I'm just really building stock right now. So when the festivals come, I don't kill my hands like I did last year. That was an awful time. So, yeah, that is the plan for this year. Just do some more festivals. I mean, I like going to my regular market, but I also like to see, get new people to, like, you know, see us and get things going with that. Because it would be super great to just have everything run online one day, which would be nice. But for now, a lot of in-person selling. So, yeah, and I was talking to my daughter, because my daughter went with me last year in the summer to save money. She wanted a tablet. And that's what she got with the money that she ended up making from going with me because I paid her. And she, we went during the week when we had the weekly markets. And she's like, I don't want to do that again this year. I'm like, oh, okay. She's like, is there any other way I can make money with you? Because she was like talking about helping me trace stuff out or things like that. She does not want to cut glass. She does not want to solder. But she has no problem helping trace patterns. But I really don't need her to do that. So we'll see how busy we get in the summer. My other daughter... Um, who Autumn, she'll be 11 this year. She wants to go, but it just gets... She's She doesn't do good when it's, like, really hot. She just can't handle the heat. So, like, when I'm out there sometimes, it's, it's bad. Even though I have the air conditioner, it's only helps so much. I don't think it's a good idea for her to go when it's super hot. So, we'll see. The other thing is with my older daughter, it's easier with her because she'll do the change. I mean, she's, she's going to be 14 at the end of the year. So, like, last year, she'd do the change for me, or she'd wrap up the stuff. Just, you know, especially the glass stuff. And she knows how it's supposed to be wrapped and all. So it's just easier to have her. Um, because she's older and understands a little bit more. I feel like when Autumn's a little older, it'd be better to take her. But, and then Gabriel's, he's not even an option. Like, he goes, oh, I could go. Gabriel would be bored out of his mind. He complained the whole time. So I'm like, I'm not taking him. So I think I'm just going to be going solo during the week this year. Because Chris and me always go on Saturdays together. He does not like to separate and have one of us go one place and one of us go the other so we stick together <laughs> and um, I'll just go to the week ones by myself because it don't bother me I'll just watch stuff on my phone while I'm, like when it's not busy or read or do something but yeah my little buddy she ain't gonna come with me this year it's all right I mean she's 13 I'm sure like it was summer I wouldn't want to be spending it doing sitting out in the heat when I was 13 so yeah, but um, I'm almost my mom's, so I will be back probably Sunday for me, but like right soon for you, because I don't usually do anything with the filming on Saturday. I'll be back. Hey guys, so we never got to do the uh, soda bread yesterday because I forgot buttermilk, which apparently you can't just make your own, you gotta use like actual buttermilk. So... Yeah, today's Monday. I'm at my mom's house, so obviously this probably won't be up till tomorrow. Um, I just wasn't feeling it. So, <laughs> I mean, I had some stuff I filmed, but I was like, well, I'm going to be... My glasses are dirty. I was like, I'm going to be uh, putting together the greenhouse. So I figured I would show you guys that. Um, I'll put a picture in of the one I got online. It was like, I think, $43. So that is what we're going to do today. I'm going to put it together so me and my sister can start our plants. Um... And that's, uh, that's the plan for the day. So I will probably fast pace this while I do that and uh, you guys can watch me put together the greenhouse. <laughs>
Okay, there we have it. Um, I am about 5'5", five five and it comes up to like my eye line. So, I mean, it's not huge, but it is, it'll work for what we need it for. We're just trying to start our plants in there, and I figure that's probably the best option for us because I don't have a big greenhouse, and I don't want to pay $5 for plants from Walmart to start. So, once the kids are done with school because they want to help me and my sister, I will be back and we'll start planting. We didn't end up getting to start the plants today because the kids had like a ridiculous amount of schoolwork. Um... So yeah, we're going to try to get them done tomorrow because the children do want to help. But like I told my sister, if school's going to be like that for the rest of the week, we're just going to do it without them because it needs to be done. And I can only wait so long and I can't wait for the weekend. What I should have did was I should have did it this past weekend, but you know how that goes. So I'm on my way home now. Um, the kids are staying there tonight because they usually stay with my mom's Monday nights unless you know, we have other stuff going on where I have to keep them home. But that's usually the night they stay with my mom. They used to stay uh, Mondays when I worked. It was just the way it always was. Um, so we never really changed the schedule. I've always kind of kept it the same. And uh, my mom likes it. The kids like it. And it gives me a chance to do the things I have to do for the business. Like get the glass and stuff ready. But, uh, yeah. I plan on making little birds give itself a bath and a puddle. So cute. I didn't know what it was. It looked like a sprinkler that was broken. And I was like, nope, that's a bird. Um, but yeah, I plan on making, uh, I bought that package of steak for dinner. Me and Chris will have with probably potatoes. And then I've got some honeycombs and stuff I need to cut. And that'll probably be what the plan is for tonight. I also have to edit this video because I need to put it up for tomorrow. And then uh, I'll probably edit my other one for the grocery haul that I usually do on Fridays because they're from the week, the previous week. So that sounds like what the plan's going to be for tonight. Um, yeah, this week, weekend was, I had a lot of different things ha uh, going on and I just didn't end up having time because I usually try to edit the videos on Sundays. Um, but I just, I wasn't having a great day yesterday so I was just like, I'll do it tomorrow. You know, that's just how it is sometimes. <laughs> But yeah, guys, um, I appreciate all you guys watching. I hope you're enjoying the little vlogs and the hauls, and, you know. Um, we are going to make soda bread this week. I just need to get the stuff for it because I was talking to my mom and I'm like, I can't believe I forgot the stuff. So I'll probably go to the store during the week and um, get some of those things that are necessary for that. But um, yeah, so I appreciate all you guys watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.